Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your bro Benzo. I got a cool episode for you today, guys. We're going to be using this really nice large tow truck today used to tow large vehicles, and it's called a Scania. You can get this off the GTA 5 mod site. This is a AAA livery for emergency services, uh, also a vehicle recovery, those kinds of things. And we're going to be using this uh, right in front of the airfield there. We're going to be not uh, blocking air traffic. But uh, we're going to be using this spot right here to drop off large vehicles. And let's go ahead and get today's episode started, guys. Okay, we're going to go down Panorama Drive here. I'm going to shut up our lights. And uh, when you use a vehicle like this, it is uh, a little bit harder to drive than a normal vehicle because you got to make some huge, you know, right turns. Very, very wide right turns. And we're going to be going all over uh, the northern part of the map here to pick up some uh, large vehicles that are broken down. And uh, we're going to be on Panorama Drive. We're about to turn into, yeah, US Route 68. Let me know, guys, if you want to change some things up, too. We can use this vehicle also, like maybe in the snow is what I was thinking. Maybe we'll uh, even throw up some really crazy stuff, you know, extreme weather style heavy duty towing, right? That'd be kind of cool. Okay, I think we got our first customer here. They called us out for a large uh, tow job today. Now, they had a bank robbery earlier, but I think one of their riot vans broke down right in front of the bank here. And uh, the police has already cleared the scene. This is their uh, riot van. Yeah, this is it. It's broken down right here in front of the Flicka Bank. So we're going to attach this vehicle right here sure our lights are on we're gonna back it up here a little bit and see it's smoking right there now before I get started what I like to do is uh, make sure there's just a few cones laid out not not a lot you know just a few cones you can see there's uh, obviously you know police lights there but I just want to make sure that there's some cones laid out as well. So we'll do uh, some large cones right here. We'll place it right there. We'll place another one about right. Probably about right there. And we might do one more. You know, for the heck of it. Probably about right there. Okay, just enough to kind of give people a little bit of awareness that we're here. And then we're going to end up hooking that up right down there below. You can see the little hitch right there. We're going to be hooking that up and then towing that over there to right beside near the uh, actual airfield in front of that. There's a garage there. All right, let's lower this down a little bit. Okay, raise that up. Yeah, a regular tow truck may not be able to tow this thing. It's possible, but uh, we got some other larger vehicles to tow in this episode, so hang tight. Okay, we are hooked up, indeed, making sure things all safe and secure. Our lights are working properly. We're going to leave the actual police lights on. I think that adds a little bit more security to the, the load here. Okay, we're going to remove those barriers there, and then uh, we'll go ahead and we got a waypoint already set. We're going to be driving this over there to the actual tow site. And I'm trying to think here what would be a good idea. Okay, we're going to be safe here. That's the uh, biggest problem here. I was kind of thinking maybe we could have went down that dirt track right there. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go back here. It's not really recommended to back up like this. Okay, we'll just go down. Yeah, let's just head down here. Make a wide right turn here. We don't want to damage this uh, vehicle any more than what it is. Yeah, we'll go down this uh, dirt road right here. We'll probably find some other vehicles that are larger than this. That needs a bigger tow truck. That just uh, obviously flatbeds can't handle and the, lar the regular tow trucks cannot handle this. Okay, we're going to take it right here. Yeah, this job here is a little easy. But they'll get better. A little bit bigger here as we go. Okay, here's the airstrip right there. But we're not going to, you know, we don't want to impede any kind of uh, planes taking off. And you can see one right there behind me that's taking off right there. So we don't want to block their air traffic. We're going to just keep on heading eastbound Panorama Drive, and we're almost there. Hope y'all are having a good Sunday. These are called Layback Sunday episodes, so that you guys can kind of relax a little bit before uh, going back to work or school. And unfortunately, we have the right of way technically because we've been waiting here. But uh, this vehicle here, we're going to wait for all traffic to kind of decrease a little bit. And then we're going to go. Okay, so here's our plan. You can see this open area right here. Don't go. Don't go, man. Come on. <laughs> I was hoping that wouldn't happen. All right, you can see the back end of this uh, actual garage right there. They got some broken down vehicles right there so my plan is to tow them about right here and then we'll drop them off about right here there we go pull forward a little bit make sure that's detached there we go okay I think that worked out rather nicely then we'll inform the police department that we have one of their riot vehicles over here it's broken down and uh, we'll get you know their mechanic or our mechanic work on that but uh, these vehicles are not going to have any owners inside the vehicle so we don't have to mess with uh, getting paperwork signed they already know that they're you know large vehicles on the side okay, we're going to cut our lights right here We're going to keep on going here. We're going to turn on to Joshua Road here. Once again, we're looking for any uh, vehicles that are stranded. And if we get any calls, you know, for large vehicles and those kinds of things. And if you like this kind of uh, episode, let me know, guys, because we can do some other cool stuff, I think. Maybe in the mountains or something. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe add some, uh, maybe snow, those kinds of things. Yeah, just comment down below what you guys think. Uh, we just got a call over the radio that we have a phantom actually up here blocking uh, some one of the actual big roadways here. Let's see if we can spot it up here. Yeah, I think I spotted it here. We have a lot of vehicles trying to go around. Ah, this is a bad spot, man. Look at this. This is, uh, we're on East Joshua Road, but this is going to be pretty problematic getting across all this. Oh, man. Well, there's no sense putting out cones, right? So we're going to lower this down here. Then watch this bad boy. Watch this. 
That's right, man. This thing is super cool, right? All right, so we are going to go across this traffic here. I think we're going to actually, let's go back down this direction here. We're going to take a wide right turn here. And then we'll uh, go to our destination. Yeah, the, you can feel the vehicle speed difference here because it's a lot heavier vehicle. Yeah, this thing is uh, probably trash, but uh, this is what I want to do. I wanted to kind of get it out of the area right there. Let's get off to the side, and then I just want to check a few things. I want to make sure that it's hooked up good and properly. We Unfortunately, we had to kind of get out of there a little bit in a hurry just so we didn't tie up a lot of people. But uh, maybe some tow truck drivers in the channel. I know there's some of you guys that actually follow the channel. Maybe you guys can let me know if I'm doing things correctly here. I mean, I know there's safety checks, you know, that you have to do, uh, especially for the vehicle that you're towing. You have to make sure their, you know, their tires are good shape because it's part of your vehicle now, right? I'm not a tow truck driver in real life, so I don't really know all this stuff, to be honest. I mean, I act like I know what I'm talking about, but I really don't. <laughs> but uh, we've already checked our vehicle over, so we know it's in good shape. But mainly back, I would, I would assume that we want to make sure that that's in good shape. You know, the actual connection to the vehicle. And then, if I'm not mistaken, we want to make sure, you know, the back tires, everything is in good shape before you take off. Because if there's a tire blown here, you know, it can be pretty dangerous. And it can cause your vehicle to sway and cause an accident. Okay, let's ease back onto the freeway here. See if we can find an opening here. It's like real life driving, you gotta find that opening, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if I could do this here. Nope. Can't build up enough speed. So we're gonna start building up some speed here in just a moment. I see an opening. Here we go. And then we're just gonna get over. All right, there we go. Whoa, don't do it, man, don't do it. I guess we'll just kinda, uh, cause the AI traffic and stuff, I really don't wanna drive on the side of the road. I mean, you're supposed to be able to get in the slow lane. And people are just gonna have to, you know, fall behind. There's one other thing that we need to do is we need to turn the, uh, and I know the tow truck drivers that come to the channel, they would agree with me on this, that we need to turn on the hazard lights of the uh, semi. So that's one thing I forgot to do. So let's, I want, can I not, here, let's do this. Let's lower this down. And now let's get in here and turn on the hazard lights. Kind of bear with me while I find this. This button to turn the hazard lights on. Okay, figured that out. Got the hazard lights on. All right. And, uh, you know, we're taking our time with this uh, episode. So uh, it's a more of a, a calming episode. You know, it's a laid back episode. I know a lot of you guys like, you know, tow episodes. Okay, we're going to raise this back up. Now, I think uh, probably most of the tow truck drivers that come into the channel, they'd probably agree with that. It's probably a better setup, right? We're supposed to have the hazard lights on. Okay, so now let's get going. 
And we're going to build it some speed to get on the freeway. Yeah, as a, uh, I don't really have a uh, certain class to drive a actual you know, large vehicle like this in real life, but uh, I have a lot of buddies of mine that actually drive trucks like this. And uh, I have a lot of more respect for them uh, after talking to them about how they have to drive because it takes a long time to build up speed. And it takes a long time, you know, to, to actually brake as well. So that's why it's not a good idea to get in front of a semi, you know, and slam your brakes. Not a good idea at all. Because they could be towing, you know, up to 60,000 pounds plus, you know. And it takes them a long time to stop that vehicle. Okay, we're going to be exiting here. There goes another Phantom right there. That's a little bit more driving with this particular incident. With this being a diesel, we should be able to get this thing up the hill, no problem. There we go. We're going to make a wide right turn, and we got a perfect uh, opportunity. But a lot of police officers forgive uh, truck drivers, you know, for double, you know, going over the double yellow line like that. Because in reality, you're not supposed to do that. But a lot of uh, police officers forgive that because they know that truck drivers have to they take wide right turns. Yeah, we'll see how well this video does. Uh, I think it probably will do pretty well because a lot of you guys are cool. <laughs> And if it does pretty well, then uh, we'll do some more of these different uh, tow jobs and stuff like that, you know, with the large vehicles and stuff. Okay, we're almost on side here. Oh, don't turn, don't turn. Oh man, did you see that? Oh, uh, he got mad. Look at that. Okay, we're going to make a left right here. We're going to keep our speed up as we turn. There we go. Oh man, it's not allowing me to turn left very good. It's like it's stuck. Oh wow, man. The physics of this thing is amazing. I think we'll just park it right here. It's probably good enough. We'll lower it down right there. Okay. Detach. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Turn off our lights. Very nice. I like that. Okay, we're going to get back on the streets here. Since we're AAA, you know, we're constantly moving sometimes. And a lot of times they just wait for calls to come over. But if you don't know what AAA is, it's a service that uh, you pay a very minimal fee for, actually. And sometimes when you buy a new vehicle, it's uh, actually included in their package. They'll do like a free AAA for like two years or, you know, something like that. And they'll come out and, you know, pick you up if you're stranded. Uh, ran out of gas, uh, flat tires, broken out vehicles, obviously, those kinds of things. And I have used them in the past, so pretty cool. Haven't had a lot of trouble with 
AAA as well, so that's pretty nice. Alright, we're going to head down this direction here. We're going to get, get on the freeway. See if there's any vehicles that we get that are stranded. I love how fast these go-karts are going too. Look at this. That's pretty fast for a, like a little... Well, I want to I cut a, really a golf cart or something, right? It's not really a golf cart, but it's moving pretty fast. Okay, back on East Joshua Road here, or going to westbound rather. All right, we got another call over here that we have a broken down actual, like, trash master. Like a garbage truck. He was on his route and he is completely broken down, so we're going to go rescue him. Well, he's already gone from the scene. He's already called his boss and he said his uh, vehicle is right here on Marina Drive and this has got to be it right here. Yep. Got the hazard lights on. Oh good, it's already got the hazard lights on. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, we're gonna back up a little bit right here. And this is what we're gonna do. We don't need a lot of cones, personally. I don't think we need to. But uh, just for the sake of the episode, kind of bear with me a little bit. We'll do uh, just a few little cones here. Yeah, you can see how the AI traffic is already behaving. Yeah, we're just going to do a few here. That way they just kind of go around us a little bit. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Just a few to kind of get us by. Okay, making sure the hitch is all in good shape. Love their little logo there. <laughs> okay, and then uh, traffic, we got the hazard lights on, that's fine. Making sure their back tires are in good shape. It looks good. Okay, and then we'll uh, hook them up and get them out of here. Here we go. We're going to raise this bad boy up. Oh yeah, look at that. You know, a regular tow truck could not handle that for sure. Okay, one thing we're just going to check our work here. Yep, it's hooked up nicely. Now, one thing I don't like about this is it looks like it's kind of touching the the bottom a little bit, but we can't control that too much because it's such a large vehicle. Okay, let's get in our vehicle here and we'll take off here. The cool thing is, uh, check out this uh, turnaround. We can literally do a complete turnaround here. This is really nice. That's an ideal place to be broken down. Makes it easier on me. Yeah, the horsepower to actually tow something like this is pretty amazing if you think about it. We're going to wait right here and see what this truck is going to do. Okay, we're going to make a wide right turn here. There we go. And then we'll make a left right here. This is the part that's kind of dangerous because uh, see like vehicles coming around the corner right there. And this is about a 60 mile an hour zone here. 
We're going to go ahead and get this on to uh, Joshua Road again. We're going to head eastbound. But yeah, we could do a lot more, I uh, think, I think cooler uh, tow episodes for you guys if you like this. And I guess it's not too much longer till you guys are out of school, right? A lot of people uh, watch this channel are either in college or that are in school. So it looks like you got about, what, two more months? Let me know down below uh, how much longer you got to go to school. Uh, do you go into June or is it uh, May? Or uh, God forbid you have year-round school. I know some people are like that. And I know some of you guys are finishing up spring break too. Okay, we're gonna make a wide right turn here. Here we go. And we definitely need to watch that uh, railroad crossing there. Definitely don't want to get hit by a train with this thing. That'd be crazy. Okay, we're going to pull this thing right in here. I'll drop it up here. Oh, look at that. It just, dis it just disconnected, man. I didn't even try to do that. Guess that was just in time, huh? Glad I didn't do that while I was going down the road. Alright guys, that'll do it. And thank you very much for watching the large vehicle towing. And we'll see you next time on the next episode. Take care guys. Later. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.